didn't see your live show the other night, so apologize if it was covered then, but I noticed in some of your answers, you kind of lean a lot on non-verbal cues slash signals, just being able to tell if someone is into you and so on. I think one area that could use a bit more explore, exploring is how cognitive biases play into this, both positive, people seeing and hearing what they want to see and hear, and negative, no way could they possibly be into me, they're so out of my league, etc. Or indeed, both of those things going to some extent at the same time. Like, how can we be certain that we're not reading someone's, I think this person is interesting and I'd like to be friends with them, or indeed their, I have no interest in you whatsoever, but I'm very polite and or scared of rejecting you openly, signals, as something more than they are, without just openly coming out and saying, hello, I want to bang you, is this feeling mutual? Somewhat relatedly, tips on shy for shy dating would be welcome. So this is this was, I think, a very interesting for us, a question for us to, to receive because we have been a bit maybe guilty in our previous episodes, kind of talking, uh, telling people that there is this sort of like fairly clean way to find out whether someone in, is into you if you like empathetically and politely ask them. And yet, I think both of us have now recently had experiences where people have kind of done that without us giving like a z like without yeah. like without us giving like zero signal taking that, kind interaction as well this is a yeah clearly a yeah so you want to bang yeah? yeah like and it's just that was that's been that's been quite odd so we're like did we create a monster here you know um so this is tough right because yeah in the past we've definitely sort of been given uh advice as to like you know you kind of hopefully know that someone's like flirting with you and you know obviously rejection is a terrible thing but as long as you go like you know, hey, I guess I'm kind of into you if you are as well, then like, then perhaps, if, yeah, is there something to do here? But there are limitations to that. Oh, and we have also though said that like, you need to read someone's body language and be able to like, like we've talked a lot about how to hit on someone without being a creep is like a big topic we've covered. And we do say like, it's not only coming out and saying in the middle of nowhere, I think your heart should be bang, but also, you know, like trying to like engage and see what the, you know the flirting cues are like so yeah but but yeah we have maybe created a monster <laughs> yeah but um i so i'll give a bit of a personal story here that begin with the a hard story <laughs> no but basically just kind of like don't you think that uh even if you get visual cues that you're actually Physical in the game cues. yeah quite so um oh my god this is so embarrassing Fuck it so a couple of years back good couple of years back now um, well I was squatting everyone knows that I was squatted for a good eight years or so and there was this one night and we opened uh, a squat and um, and we were there you know you had to sleep like on the on the on the ground for the first couple of nights and maybe if you're lucky you have a mattress that sort of thing you know and there was me and someone else someone I fancied so much um, fucking hell they're very lucky that I fancied them actually <laughs> anyways and so we kind of like we no no I'll tell you why I'll okay. tell you why yeah yeah no like um and so we were like sleeping next to each other and like sleeping bags you know like and that but like I mean I think there were like a couple of people in the room and that sort of stuff but like anyways and I like I, I fancied that person so I'm like you know kind of all like I don't know but anyways so but obviously I, they didn't know or anything like I was just kind of like I knew that uh and then kind of in the middle of the night I wake up to like them kind of grinding on to me sort of thing like and with like a that's a cute a hard on and everything yeah yeah it's like it was really full on and i'm like oh my days fuck they fancy me too this is great like <laughs> anyway so but and they, it felt very like alive like they were like hugging me and that. like it was like a kind of like a couple of minutes sort of thing and then we fell back asleep and it was fine not to and say that you should necessarily just go straight to grinding someone that you fancy no but no but no but no but the story gets worse <laughs> So we wake up in the morning and, you know, we were sort of chatting and everything. And, you know, I don't know, I'm all like, fuck, after months, you know, I kind of, I guess, I think you fancy me to want a kiss. And they like, go, what? No. You ask them. Yeah, yeah. And they go like, no. What, what do you mean? And I'm like, but I thought, wait, what? And they're like, oh, no, I, I was, I was, I, I was dreaming. <laughs> So like they were sleep fucking they someone else, <laughs> and thank. But well, that's what I'm saying. Thank fuck that I fancied them, right? Because if I wouldn't well, have, exactly, that'd be assault, that would right? be assault. Yeah, yeah. Like loud and Are clear. Are they aware that they sleep assault people? I mean, I don't know. Maybe. Well, I mean, or was it a one-off? Down the line, down. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. It was hopefully a one-off. Yeah. I don't know. So that was like a rejection twice. <laughs> so you cannot always terrible. take even so the most. So what we're saying <laughs> is that sometimes.
sometimes even the most physical cues are actually not a sign that anyone fancies you. <laughs> so, and I learned it the hard way. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I mean, we're using this an anecdote, like anecdote as such, but really just to sort of illustrate that, like, it is really tough out there, and like, it's very, very difficult to tell when someone fancies you. Like, uh, to me, that seemed like as clear as it can be, right? And absolutely not. And um, so yeah, so sometimes, it, yeah, and then there have been also things that I don't know. Times when people have told me that they fancy me, I'm like, I have not given any cues to you. Why do you yeah. have it in your hand? Being like, friendly does not mean someone wants to bang you. Right? And then, and then, but they were like, but you said that, you looked that way. And I was just like, I guess I did, but I didn't have, like, there was nothing to it as such. Like, when I flirt, I flirt. Like, someone can tell. Like, yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. So that's like, the problem, right? If someone doesn't know well, you and know yeah, the difference right? between you laughing because they made a joke and laughing because you want to fuck them, like... So, yeah, so it's basically a very subjective thing. Sadly, like, as much as we want to, there's not, like, a clear answer that we can give. Some people, you know, and I think there will be another question with people that, like, don't necessarily understand social cues, yeah. right? Like, and, 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 um... Yeah, that there, there are some people that flirt with being, you know, very, very, for instance, passionate about your hobbies or something like that. And then there are others that like can be extremely flirtatious and touch you all the time and be like, yeah, no, mate, like I'm not into you at all. Like, as in, you know, you know, there are those like touchy feely people no, that no, are just like do it all the time. It's really annoying, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> especially when you do fancy them. Yeah, um, well, both in different ways. Yeah, sure. Um, so yeah, it's kind of really annoying. We can't necessarily like give a very, very clear answer here. And in terms of shy and shy, I mean, like, so it's kind of a bit harder for me, I think, because when I when I am into someone, I think I'm quite open about yeah, it. Yeah, so I really I'm not, respect I'm not that. Quite shy about it. Like yeah. my advice would be like stand in the corner, don't make eye contact, and never speak to them again. But um, <laughs> that doesn't actually work. So yeah. like, I mean, obviously it's also like the difference between in person shy on shy, but also through like texting and stuff. And I think you can work your way up to a flirty banter through like sending memes and things like that. If you're not good at the actual like interpersonal. Thing. But I think I so appreciate them using the word cognitive bias as well because like um, mm -hmm. that's such a thing. The amount of times like, yeah, I mean quite recently let's say as well like there was someone yeah I like I fancied so much and I thought that you know oh fuck they messaged me to ask me how I am surely they fancy me yeah. or something is just no like man I'm just polite you know so yeah and I wish I would have known that term at the time as well. Uh, or someone it, would have like yanked me out of this being like no it's just someone like kind of and thank fuck like i didn't necessarily open up myself then that that's that so that interesting because i'm so guilty of the opposite cognitive bias of like not ever realizing anyone fancies me ever lucky and so, like, <laughs> no it's not lucky me because there's so many possible potential things i could have gone for and i just blew it like or didn't blow it <laughs> sorry <laughs> it's that stage of the night <laughs> um yeah, so, so we're kind of fucked, but basically, <laughs> yeah. We're kind of fucked either well, way. Or the lack of. Yeah, but, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, so I think, um, first of all, yeah, what we said in terms of like, don't go there if there is not, not like a, you still have to invest in being charming, basically what we're saying. Is that for instance, those couple of times I think that we got approached with like no, no idea that we gave any signal is also because they weren't necessarily trying to like get us Well, or the person they I'm thinking like of charging. was charming. charming. Like they were charming. They were just... I just thought they were but nice, and I was nice. We were having this like nice conversation. Yeah, but did they invest? Did they do the courting, basically? You know, the sort of like courting. They kind of courted. It's just that they kind of courted me and my boyfriend at the same time. Didn't realize he was my boyfriend. Oh bless. <laughs> no, but I guess that's also that's for one like that one night only. Sure. Well, you know? I guess maybe that's. that's yeah, the question, yeah, but it's the assumption. It's just really tricky because on the one hand, we like to tell people look yeah just ask like the, the best thing the most consensual thing you can do is ask that's true. right but on the other hand if you get a question in the middle of nowhere from someone you've just been hanging out with and they say hey i think you're really hot can we make out that can also actually make you feel not that good yeah and so I it's think, like i think the reason why i'm a bit i'm a bit upset about what happened to me recently is because it was also in a professional environment right and yes. so i thought that they took me as like a colleague mm. but turns out that no actually the whole time I was just an object, right? Because right? there's a fighting line of like women constantly being like assumed that they will want to have sex and being yeah. asked to have sex. But on the other hand, actually, I'd rather someone asked me to have sex than just tried to have sex with me. So it's yeah. like, and it kind of basically what happened was, yeah, like, I mean, I don't know, it was a bit like, it just came so out of nowhere. I felt a bit violated and also like they yeah. were a bit like, but you kind of told 
people to be open about th things and yeah. like sure and I guess you were kind of nice about it and yes maybe because it was a professional environment I took it like quite badly I was like I have not given you any like cool that that was okay but, that, but that's the thing like cues are cues and it's really hard because also like people with different like you know ability well, you to read social shy, cues and stuff good, like to just ask sure as long as you're also prepared to be rejected yeah because women are so subjected to like being hit on all the time as is and and, and it's just like what are we doing and now we're going to do it in like a really cutesy sort of feminist way but we're still going to continue doing but that I, still, I guess rather someone say like hey i really like you can we make out then send me a dick pic right depends on the dick i'm sorry <laughs> no but like <laughs> no you know what i mean like there are even if it both feel like it's somewhat uh, absolutely invasive absolutely there's a better way of invading Yes, yes, yes. Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I think I think core thing is really important, basically. And like making making that f person feel special. Again, also, like if you are shy, like there is such thing as uh, if there's two of you sort of in a party, there's that whole thing that we also mentioned before. That's just like it's you two against the world sort of thing. Like yeah. create that sort of environment. And you do. You We're do both feel standing like in the kitchen feeling awkward. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like it is kind of like when we think about the experience that we have maybe is just also it's a bit like yeah you create that environment where it's just like yeah we too both of us are shy in between all these extroverts you know and then there's a bit of a connection there straight away. also like a really good random tip that i have done at parties where i feel uncomfortable and i see as another person also standing and feeling uncomfortable is instead of doing like hey how are you and trying to small talk like do a game or something be like you could you know, like you're good open at that. with like a shag Mario void or something like that something that isn't about them having to talk about themselves but like is yeah I don't know or are like 20 questions or are like guess what or something and yeah. like it's quite a good way of engaging for with a million someone. dollars would you do this yeah a good way of engaging with someone without them having to like so what do you do uh, 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 which... yeah that's true there's so many little like cute random questions you can just ask someone yeah. that were like are instant icebreakers you know like my favorite in terms of texting is on a scale of one to ten how's your day going because then they say what it is on the scale, which is a different thing to being like, how was your day? And yeah. it's like, opens up a debate. So there are like, yeah, which come across less, because I often really panic when someone I don't know at a party starts talking to me and I'm like, what if we have nothing to say? What if you're nothing to talk about? What if I'm leading you on? I need to go to the toilet. And I just instantly leave because leaving is much less bad than having awkward silences in a supposed to be conversation. Yeah. Also self-deprecation is fine. I mean, I mean, this is kind of sounds super subjective as well. Maybe that's like, my trick if it even is a trick but it's just like you know yeah you kind of are open that you have your limitations and and that you're kind of a waste man around a lot of cool people sort of thing well, i mean you know? for example the first time i bonded with someone i'm very good friends with now who is very close to you was because we were both standing outside a party and i was like i feel fucking awkward and i don't want to talk to anyone here and he was like yeah me too but you should, it's kind of a sad reality that we have to bring ourselves down like that. But if it is shy on shy, then probably exactly. those people do and it, feel and that Exactly, and it way. created this solidarity, yeah, yeah, which has lasted, so. Right, okay, hopefully we touched that, but it's just because of what we kind of, that, like, kind yeah, of talked about this. Yeah, watch other videos on similar topics. Um, yeah. Maybe we should post the links to them under this video. Gladly so. You so you can see a kind of, because we have talked to this about this in previous episodes. Yeah. Yeah.